what we are really interested in doing now is embedding Flash in HTML5. Um, now obviously the video, audio, and canvas elements are much better for a lot of uh, purposes um, because the browser is playing the video or audio or whatever directly and there's nothing in between and you're not going to run into a lot of uh, performance issues and uh, you know, you're, you'll be able to play it on Apple mobile devices and things like that. Um, so you want to consider first using one of these, but uh, there's also a lot of browsers still at this point that don't support these uh, or don't support them fully. And so you want to, you may want to still use Flash as a fallback. So this is, uh, this is a little bit of the old style HTML. Um, but if I wanted to have a video element here, uh, and uh, use the flash embedding as the fallback so that if the browser doesn't support video then it plays all of this loads it and you get the uh, you get the flash version of the video um, that's a good way to do it um, now here's a new, another thing is that the embed element which usually has to be sort of nested underneath the object element to deal with browser incompatibilities has actually been included in the HTML5 spec. So if you wanted to, you could just use this part, just the embed part, and it would be cross-browser compatible, um, especially if they support HTML5, and it would be valid. Um, so that's a consideration as well. Um, so this code right here would be just sort of like the, the, the old style way of uh, including it, but um, it's in HTML5, so it's valid. Um, I don't think that's actually the best way to do it, though. I think the best way would be a little bit more complicated.